It was a great weekend for Bronco football. Boise State bounced back with a big win over New Mexico. The team got an extra day of rest on Saturday, and now finally, at long last, the Broncos are going to be back on the blue this weekend. Boise State hosts FCS UT Martin on Saturday at 2 in the afternoon. Although BSU has dominated in their past five FCS matchups dating back to over a decade ago, the Skyhawks are no slouch. They have a balanced offensive attack, and they lead the Ohio Valley Conference in passing yards, rushing touchdowns, and total points. The BSU coaching staff compares their offensive attack to that of BYU or Utah State. So they're not treating this one as a tune-up game. But if they ever needed some extra motivation, a packed Albertson Stadium full of fans who have waited since December to see the Broncos in person should do the trick. That's what makes college athletics it's a, a student body, you know, that has been back in school now for a couple weeks and now they have the opportunity to come watch the Broncos play here at home in Albertson Stadium. And I think, uh, you know, that's a special thing. And, you know, not only because of the, the challenge we have this week with our opponent, but even more so it's our first home game and making sure that, you know, we stay locked in this week as a team and we handle our preparation so that we can be our best because we're going to need to be. The Boise State defense has been impressive through two games. The Broncos held New Mexico to just 123 total yards. Even after giving up 34 points to Oregon State, BSU still ranks in the top three for fewest yards allowed in the Mountain West. Now heading into the season, we knew the D-line was going to look good. We knew there was solid depth and playmakers within the defensive backs. But the linebackers, that was a pretty big question mark. So far, DJ Schramm and Ezekiel Noah have answered a lot of those questions. Schramm posted a career-best 11 tackles against Oregon State. Noah posted 1.5 sacks against New Mexico on Friday, and they've been among the brightest spots throughout the defense. For D coordinator Spencer Danielson, these fifth and sixth year players have dominated their preparation each week, and that's what's made them able to play fast and confident. See, there were some question marks then going into this year, you know, with losing Riley and depth at inside linebacker and seeing them play the way they had these first two weeks. Just if you guys could, I mean, see these guys from now until kickoff. I mean, they live in the meeting room, and then when they get out there, they're, they're playing at a, at a very high level because of how they've handled that week. And they have confidence to be able to go out there and play fast. So they're not playing hesitant and reacting. They're able to know what's coming, and they can go attack, and they're playing fast.